Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, and welcome to the month of November. First up, you may be wondering what happened to the Halloween special, don't worry, it's still coming. Unfortunately though, my editing software completely crapped itself and wiped all editing I had made for that video. So, I've gotta start over. I am very, very happy about that. Luckily, at least we still got a bunch of exciting FNAF news for Halloween that we can talk about in today's video while we wait for the Halloween special. So if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get 50k by the end of the year. Also, while you're down there, hey, hit the like button. And now let's hop into the FNAF news. We got a bunch to go through today, so we're gonna try and rapid fire some of them, such as this one, the announcement that FNAF 6 Mobile has gotten an update. The new update update will bring subtitles for 11 different languages, new unlimited play tokens cheat, revamped vibrations, and various fixes and improvements. Moving on to some brand new security breach apparel, it's a new week which means we've got a new security breach shirt from Hot Topic. As you can see you've got the four Glamrock animatronics and also Vanny lurking in the background. Definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the brand new shirts we've gotten from Hot Topic. And we also have a brand new security breach beat brought to us by Spencer's and it features those really weird renders of the glam rocks all right let's move on now the seventh and yes you heard that right the seventh Tales from the Pizzaplex book has been announced, titled Tales from the Pizzaplex number 7, Tiger Rock. And the cover features an animatronic tiger, who looks to be playing the guitar, with a whole bunch of what looks like to me, like scorpion tails coming out of his back. Or it could just be a whole bunch of arms, but I don't know, this looks terrifying. Honestly, super, super glad to have another animatronic character, and not weird, <laughs> like one-off creatures. So tell me, what do you think about the seventh Tales book, Tiger Rock, in the comments down below? Next up for U2's news, we got the next U2's FNAF drop finally revealed to us. Austin, who works at U2's, revealed in their Discord server that Purple Guy, Golden Freddy, and Springtrap will be included in the next U2's drop. And what you just saw there were some new looks at the brand new upcoming figures. They showed off the back of Purple Guy's box with actually a quote from the Silver Eyes novel, which I freaking love. They are home with me their happiest day. And you can see a bit of the figure at the top. In a recent TikTok, in the background, you could see Golden Freddy's box, and it looks like he's gonna have the same pose he has in the office in FNAF 1, and it looks like he's not gonna be sporting the iconic U2's eyes, instead he's gonna have his empty black eye sockets. And finally, we don't get to see much of Springtrap, but this is what his box looks like so far. Once again, it was shown off in the background of a TikTok. Purple Guy has a release date of later this year, and originally so did Springtrap. They did reveal they pushed them back to next year, but since they confirmed that all three of these are going to be dropping at the same time, I'm assuming they now have Springtrap ready for this year. So yeah, expect these three by the end of the year. Just a little bit of security breach news. We have security breach coming to NVIDIA GeForce now, which is another streaming uh, cloud gaming platform. And then we also have Freddy and Friends on Tour, nominated for the brand engagement category in the YouTube Streamies Award. Featured alongside Mr. Beast and Mark Rober with Team C's, Apex Legends, HelloFresh, and Netflix. It's pretty crazy to see FNAF listed on there. So a massive shout out and congratulations to Steel Wool and everyone who worked on Freddy and Friends on tour. And hey, maybe this will make Steel Wool realize that we want more Freddy and Friends on tour, and maybe we'll get some more episodes for the Ruin DLC. Who knows? The final topic for today's FNAF news video is the Fazbear Fanverse, because we got a whole bunch of new info regarding three of the entries in the Fanverse for Halloween. The first one is FNAF Plus. This one is the least involved because all it features is a glowing pumpkin, a wet floor sign, and a T, sir. Happy Halloween notepad on the floor. However, if you do brighten it up, you can see an animatronic lurking in the background. Now, some people think this is Freddy, though I would like to point out something, and that's that this character's teeth, compared to Freddy's teeth, are just a bit wider. So could this be our first look at a brand new animatronic? Maybe Springtrap, maybe Golden Freddy, who knows? Moving on now to Pop Goes Evergreen, Kane showed off the Halloween trading cards that we're gonna see in the game. Skeleton Pop Goes, Zombie Blake, Witch Sarah, Ghost Saffron, Scarecrow Stone, Robot Menorah, and Vampire Holly. Kane also showed off some brand new phone cases, the Vintage Phone, and the Retro Phone, which actually has 
has two different styles. The third reveal was a brand new music track featured in Pop Goes Evergreen. <laughs> And also the 2.3.1 update release for Pop Goes Evergreen. And the final news topic for Pop Goes Evergreen is a look at a brand new Toy Freddy variant. Kane specifies that these are not nightmare versions of the toy characters. In fact, he says he doesn't even have a name for this group of characters just yet. But this is our first look at the new set of characters and my god do they look terrifying. I'm very interested to see what the other characters in this group are going to look like, but Toy Freddy already has me so, so on edge. <laughs> Leave your fan names for this characters in the comments down below. God, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this guy. Sleep Paralysis <laughs> Toy Freddy. That's my name. Yeah, a very creepy new look at a new set of animatronics for Pop Goes Evergreen. I cannot wait to see more looks at these guys in the future, but now we're moving on to our last topic, and that is the Joy of Creation Ignited Collection, because we got our first look at the brand new Ignited Freddy model. The day before Halloween, Nixon revealed this teaser, which showed off a terrifying VHS recording of the brand new model, getting us all very hyped for when he revealed the full model the next day, and this is what it looks like. This is the reimagined Ignited Freddy for the Ignited Collection, modeled by Venom. Textured, lit, and rendered by Nixon straight out of Unreal Engine 5, and the amount of detail on this guy is genuinely insane. I seriously cannot get over how good this guy looks. I think the only complaint or a small nitpick I have is that the top jaw on the endoskeleton looks just a bit weird. In my opinion, I preferred only having the bottom one in the original Ignited Freddy model, but again, that is just a tiny, tiny nitpick on something that is genuinely so, so goddamn good. Nixon also revealed an update to the eyes, saying that they're no longer going to have a phantom eye texture. Nixon also says he's been working on some sound design and that he's managed to make something that sounds like breathing, and he hopes it's going to be audible this time, which is pretty funny. So that is our first look at the reimagined Ignited Freddy model. Tell me what are your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited to see Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, all the other characters? And that's going to do it for this Halloween uh, FNAF news recap. A whole bunch of reveals. It seems like the fanverse is sweeping yet another holiday, which, hey, we love to see. I appreciate your patience with the Halloween video. I'm going to try and get it up as soon as soon as I can. Trust me, I want it out too. And I'm also looking at my calendar and we have a whole bunch of videos lined up for November. If you have seen we're getting a brand new bendy game this month which i'll talk about more in a future video but i'm very very excited for that so a whole bunch of content this month and december we're hopefully going to wrap up 2022 with a whole bunch of banger content so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye